All right, YouTube, we back looking at the core elites again. Um, if you've seen the last video, I went ahead and ranked a majority of them, but pretty much telling you guys who I think would be good pickups, you know, game drops two days, Monday, Monday night, recording this Saturday night. Um, but this time I want to go over cheaper options, um, cards I think that you could build your team day one. Um, so we're not going to go for the 86s or the 85s. We'll probably start looking at the 84s, and I'm giving you my opinion on them. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with Jonathan Allen. He shouldn't be that expensive because he's not an 85 or an 86. Um, and then once they pull packs, they're going to be looking for the top tier cards, right? The 86s and 85s, the Chris Jones and Dexter Lawrence's and cards like that. But So these cards will be cheap um, once the game comes out, the first maybe week. And then once people start getting coins and they can't afford, you know, the, the upper echelon of cards start going higher, these cards will start to rise too once people start filling out their teams. Um, so I'm just going to go kind of in-depth on uh, a few cards I think that are going to be good in each position. Uh, so first one will be Jonathan Allen. So if you run a 3-4 only, I would pick him up because he has elite power move, elite block shedding. He's not going to be fast. He's not going to be getting sacks, but... This is a card that you're going to start noticing blowing up run plays. And you're going to be like, who is this card? So that's the first one. Good card right there for a budget. Let's see if there's anyone else. This is more of a 4-3 because um, it's a little bit faster. But I don't like the block chain. I like the play rec. Um, maybe a second DT in a 4-3. But So I like I like the, the Jonathan Allen first. Uh, Buckner, same, same deal as the previous one. Let's see. Reader. Another 3-4 high block shed. No moves, though, so don't like him. So, so far, I just like the 84 overall guy. And he's, he's cheeks also. Michael Pierce, another run stopping. No pass rush moves, no. He's not that good. So, and the DTs, I think the, the only budget beast. So, you, if you don't want to spend a lot of coins on the 86s, on this guy, the 85, Quentin Williams, the 85, Jonathan Allen will... Make plays in the run game and make plays in the pass game. But he's kind of slow. But he'll be able to jam the middle. So that's the only DT I would recommend as far as a budget beast. And then we'll go on over to the defensive ends. Obviously, if you're rich, you get these players. And these players, Bosa, the Parsons. But we're looking at budget beast today. So even Dexter Lawrence in a 4-3 would be good. Even Montez Sweat's amazing. You know, there's a lot of 85s. So the first 84 is Brian Burns. Low block shedding. Um, in a 4-3, he'd be all right. Maybe in the past situations, nickels and dimes and all that, he'd come off the edge. Decent, good speed. But uh, I would say this guy would be budget beast. And again, I'm basing it off of a 3-4 defense. Uh, I'm going to run a 4-3 defense. But I like the 3-4. It's hard to run on because if you have these guys at the, the end, high block shedding, high power move, high tackling, strong. Play rec's good. Slow, but having him at an end and then another, like Jonathan Allen in the middle with the, another 3 4 defensive tackle that I said, the 84s, he shouldn't be that expensive because he's slow. People won't really like him. This would be another good 4 4 or 4 3. Good speed. Kind of weak, but he's able to get off to the pass with that finesse. Decent, good enough block shit to where I don't think he's going to be a, that big of a liability. I wish he was stronger, but. For a budget, you know, you can't you can't really be asking for a lot. So, um, and the defensive ends, the budget beast will be uh, Von Miller probably. Von Miller, if you run a four three, if you run a three four, I will go with what was his name? Let's see, Cameron Hayward. So three four, Cameron Hayward. You run a four three. Go ahead and go with Von Miller. Those are the two budget cards. And, and it's not even that budgety. 84 is still kind of high right now. So, you know, because the, the highest core rates are 86. But the 80, they should be considerably cheaper than the 86s and 85s. So cheaper cheaper options for you guys. Um, linebackers, I did not like the linebackers. He's going to be good. Cheeks, avoid him. Cheeks, kind of cheeks. I don't like his zone. Um, he's, he got decent speed. Too slow. Got good height power, though. See, I like this acceleration. If he was one more speed, he'd, I'd pick him as the budget beast. But I'm going to go with him. I don't know how to say his name. Aziz. Great hit power. Great acceleration. Great speed for a linebacker. 
great tackling. Uh, use your card and a nickel, put him in the middle, or even uh, he can play 4 3 3 4, doesn't matter. Great card right here. I like him a lot. And then another card, he's too slow. Tremaine Edwards is cheeks. This guy is. Uh, no, I'm not going to choose him. I like Queen, 82 speed, 84 Excel, 84 hit power. He'll be good too. Uh, Nick Bowen, too slow. They didn't really. So, yeah, so the budget beast right here on this. Would be the Aziz guys, Aziz, and then um, Patrick Queen. Roquan Smith is, pretty, is a good shout too, pretty good. Smith, Aziz, and this guy's not that bad. 82, but 82 and 84 with Queen is pretty solid. Um, so those a few like about three line, middle linebackers. If you run a three four, you can get two of those solid budget two 84s and you'll be set. Backs, there's gonna be. Some good options for you to go for. You can. I don't think you need to really splurge on running backs. Um, you can get the job done with these lower overalls because they, they should still play good. Saquon, really good. He's going to be 84. I think he'll be kind of expensive though because people will expect him to be good. Um, pretty good stats. If he's cheap, get him. Jonathan Taylor's probably going to be the one of the best backs in the game. He's only 84, but he's a combination of a really fast for a running back. And also will be able to fall forward with his trucking and break tackle pretty decent too. Um, so I like him. I would choose, I don't like Tony Pollard. He's not going to break tackles really. Yeah, I would choose the, the Saquon Barkley or the Mike Taylor. Two good backs. You can just get an 84, lock in one of those and be set. Strong safeties. They, they did the strong safeties pretty good. These are solid players. Even Duggar. I don't like Harrison Smith. Maybe inside, inside the box safety. Um, let's see, Poyer. For a pure coverage, as far as zone, he's not that fast. But if you're a budget, 85 zone is really good. Um, 85 zone is really good. He's better, but he's going to be probably a little bit smaller. But those are good options right there. Kyle Hamilton. He's a big body, I believe, and he can cover a man and zone. Really great, strong safety, especially if you run. Man blitzes, he can line up with a receiver or a tight end, do pretty good. I think he's tall too, so I'd probably choose him as the as the budget beast. Also, Jamal Adams as a user. Hit power is crazy, smacking people. Wish he was a little bit faster, but A2A2 A2 is, is good enough to use her. Um, that hit power is crazy. You always want that extra hit power on the field because you never know when fumbles can happen. I don't know how often fumbles are going to happen in 24, but just having that option of a high hit power user. I like Jamal Adams, so I, I pick him as the budget beast for the strong safeties. Phillips, nah, cheeks. Um, no, cheeks. All right, so let's go next. I didn't really like the free safeties. Minka's pretty solid, um, but I didn't really like the free safeties. He's too small. Uh, zones. Uh, I don't really like the free safeties. Honestly, let's see if we can. For a budget, 84 zone with 82 speed. He shouldn't be that expensive because he's only 83 overall. He should get the job done if you're running a lot of zone. So I, I guess I'll pick him. I don't really like the, the safeties, though. Jesse Bates, also a good option. Good zone. Decent speed. Not, you know, just for, for budget, he, he should be able to do. Now, this guy, Marcus Williams, I actually like this 80-82 split, especially if you run man blitzing. Um, he'll be able to cover a man. Not the fastest, but... You can't expect, you know, all the stats to be good when you got an A2. So he should be good as a budget. And then right here, this is the the one I think it is a budget beast. Not the fastest, but you remember he's 82 overall. But he has really good man for safety and really good zone for safety. Considering like the highest zones are like 85, 86, 84 is real good. Everything, every stat across the board is at least an 80. So that's good. He's a well-balanced card. Can't go wrong with 82 Jimmy Ward. All right, now for the tight ends, to me, George Kittle's the best. But <clears throat> let's see, for budget, I don't like Goddard. I don't like Hawk. Darren Waller, 83 overall. Really fast for a tight end. This is just a pure pass-catching tight end if you want to get mismatches against linebackers. But I would go with Kyle Pitts. 84 speed is crazy for a tight end. That should be the budget beast right there. Then corners, my favorite position on the defense. Um, a lot of really good corners. I love Jari Alexander 
and I love uh, oh, this woolen card, but they're going to be extremely expensive, even though they're 85s and not the 86s. But I think they're they're better than some of the 86s. Not than Ramsey. Ramsey's the best, but these 85s are solid. Sauce Gardner's uh, pre-order card is amazing. Um, another card right here that can play man and zone. Everything over 80s. Nice budget card. I don't like the speed for outside, but if you could put him in the slot, that would be a good position for Gilmore. Um, we'll see if there's... Oh, Diggs, I like the speed. I don't like that under 80. 84 zone is really good, though. But he's fast enough to play on the outside. He, he'll be a good corner. Trayvon Diggs. Sertan, really good. 84, 83, 84, 83. Good press. He could play on the outside. I wish it was one more speed faster, but maybe in the slot. He's solid. Solid option. And then wide receivers, obviously everyone wants to Tyreek Hill, everyone wants to Justin Jefferson, digs his cheeks too slow, Devontae too slow, but he's a bigger body, he can he can go outside, Cooper Cup's small, too slow, Jamar Chase is I Gary Wilson's I those are two cards that are pretty similar. This is the, the guy I would consider budget. 84, so he shouldn't be too, too expensive. You gotta remember he's at I think he's six five, so he's not the fastest, but he's a big body and you don't know how good aggressive catching is gonna be yet, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. High spec, high catching traffic, fade routes in the end zone, the big Mike Evans. So I think so far he would be the budget beast. Oh, there's only that's the last one. Side linebackers. T J Watts Savage. He's a savage. I don't like how they did Crosby with the low block shed. A lot of eighty sixes. I love this card. This is an 85 overall, so it still should be pretty expensive. But this block shed combination with this finesse move, this is an elite block shed, elite finesse move, elite play rec. I, I, I'm going to try to get him. He'll be cheap. He might be cheaper than some of the 86s, but I like him a lot. He should be pretty solid. But he's an 85, so I don't think he qualifies in this in this as far as the budget. Um, he should be a little bit cheaper. He'll get the job done. Um, he's... A, a linebacker if you guys run a 3-4 make sure to be sending him off the edge I hate when people run 3-4 defenses have him or even worse if you're running a 4-3 and you have him at linebacker and coverage you're not you don't know what you're doing always have if you run a 4-3 put him at defensive end he does never needs to be in coverage he's a rusher speed rusher that's all he should be doing rushing passer don't drop him to coverage in a 3-4 don't drop him don't play him at linebacker in 4-3 He's, he's, this doesn't, it's not there. He's a defensive end. Never have him in coverage. Okay. For the quarterbacks, um, I would only even think these two, the top two are going to be the OP ones. I think Lamar Jackson is going to be OP, 84 speed. You're going to see a lot of pros probably using a Lamar, um, and also Aaron Rodgers. If he has the quick throwing motion, those, those two, they're 84s, but they might be pretty expensive. But those are the two that I'm gonna, I might be going for. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Rogers, but I do love to get out of the pocket, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we get lucky. Maybe we pull one of them. But you know, those two are gonna be good. These guys, these guys are bums. They did Trevor Lawrence dirty. All right, so that's the, that's the cards as far as the elites and the top 10 of each position um, that I think you guys can get for considerably cheaper comparing them to you know the 86s and 85s um obviously they haven't released the database yet so we don't know about the gold cards but there might be some glitchy you know high golds i doubt it but you never know um, so those are the elites that i think you can get for cheap if you think i missed out on any cards go ahead and comment if you think you know maybe trevor lawrence might be the man or you never know whatever you guys' opinions are let me know i'm out peace